Soldiers from the Azov Brigade have been fighting hard to slow the advance of Russian troops in the Toritsk area in Ukraine's Donetsk region. The fighters have spent 11 days on the front line, and a number of them sustained injuries during battle. The intensity of the battle forced one group of soldiers to move to a nearby stabilization point, where their injured were triaged and treated by army medics. The Azov Brigade is among Ukraine's most effective and popular fighting units. But it has been dogged by its origins as a volunteer battalion that drew fighters from far-right circles and criticism for some of its tactics. Toritsk is a strategic city, if the Russians were to take control, it would allow them to continue their advance towards Kostyantinivka and Pokrovsk. For now, Ukrainian forces are holding their ground, despite coming under intense assault. President Volodymyr Zelensky on Wednesday urged global leaders to stand with his country and not seek, lull, instead of a, real, just peace, more than two years into the war with Russia. He told the United Nations General Assembly that there was no alternative to the peace formula he presented two years ago. It seeks the expulsion of all Russian forces from Ukraine, accountability for war crimes, release of prisoners of war and deportees, nuclear safety, energy and food security and more. Сьогодні це було з 7 ранку, 6 і до того моменту, поки повністю нас не розвалили, це десь була 5 година, без перестану. Тобто працюють дрони, скиди, FPV, пішов в них перерва, а до там змінка, то нас працює 120 днів. І ще щось подібне. Заїхало за посадку дві броні, дві гослі. Висадили пірку. Ну і... І сиділи, оборону тримали. Нам з дрона, з, з великого такого бабаягана скидували воду, БК, гранати. Я одного в білки дорожі. На бліндажі влазили. КВП треба, щоб ввели розбирання автоматом під час матчу. Усунення не палати. Чуєш? А мені здається, що нам повезло, що нас так не Так, так, кто у нас еще? Так, на... At the Vovchansk aggregate plant, up to two dozen of the enemy were taken prisoner, several dozen were destroyed. Also, four occupiers tried to leave the plant and were neutralized already on the perimeter of the plant said a scout with the call sign Viking. Ukrainian military intelligence units regained control over the Vovchansk aggregate plant, Ukrainian authorities said in a statement. The fight lasted a little more than a week. The liberation of the Vovchansk aggregate plant marked the first operation of its kind by Ukrainian forces since the start of the full-scale war. Ukrainian defenders successfully stormed the site, which had been heavily fortified, according to Alexander Fortuna, chief of staff of the Russian Volunteer Corps. It was a fairly complex operation. As far as I know, this was the first operation of the full-scale war where a Joint Special Forces unit successfully stormed a site of this level. Typically, this type of mission is more suited for regular infantry brigades with artillery support, he said. 
The military explained that the aggregate plant in Vovchansk was essentially a massive fortress, highly fortified and difficult to approach, with full visibility from the air. Due to its strategic importance, it was suggested that specialists from the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine and RDK fighters be assigned to the task. The majority of the enemy forces near the plant were eliminated. Some Russian troops were captured, although I won't provide exact numbers. Let's say it was over 10 people, added the RDK chief of staff. He further noted that the aggregate plant was one of the few locations in the area capable of serving as a full-fledged outpost or staging ground for further advances south of Vovchansk. The city itself has few such locations due to the heavy destruction caused by Russian forces during their assault. As of today, the aggregate plant was the most heavily fortified, well-defended, and challenging site to storm, yet the easiest to defend from the enemy's perspective. Only three to four similar strongholds remain in the city, but they are less fortified, I believe the Ukrainian armed forces will advance and capture these positions, fully reclaiming Vovchansk, said Alexander Fortuna. He downplayed rumors of extensive hand-to-hand -hand combat at the factory, calling them exaggerated. There was one isolated incident when a member of the 45th Brigade apparently lost his firearm, hid in the darkness, and attacked a younger Special Forces member with a knife. He injured our comrade but was neutralized. There were rumors that the 45th Brigade, Russia's airborne special forces, was present at the factory. There weren't many of them, but this incident did occur, explained the RDK representative.